All right, this is, I'm drinking coffee, so this is going to be amazing. Um, this is State of Mind. If you like what you see, just hit this little subscribe button right here. Right here, yeah, right, exactly. So here's the thing. Today, what can I say about this individual? What I can say is I met him about a year ago, and at that time, I knew he would be the next Eddie Murphy. Okay? You just know I'm smart. And <laughs> first of all, let me just say this before we start ta I start talking, introducing you guys, the state of mind audience to this person. His social media, how can I put it? Like, over 7 million followers on Facebook, over 3 I don't know, it's like millions all over. The, it almost makes me want to stop my social media when I, <laughs> when I saw his social media. Literally, I thought I was cool because I'm always on. The, and then I said, oh, okay, it's, it's like I said earlier today to someone, it's second to me to The Rock. That kind of social media. That's enormous. He's a, a, a man of faith. Stand-up comedian. Good guy. Country Wayne, how are you? Hey, man, how you doing, brother? I was quiet through all those <laughs> accolades you were giving me, so I, I just wanted you to get it out, man. You keep going if you want. Hey, man. You know what? My, I just My kids don't speak that good of me, so I was <laughs> <laughs> feel good to hear it sometimes. I just... Uh, it's all to the truth, you know, and mm -hmm. uh, it's easy for me to say the truth. I, I don't like l not saying the truth. Then it becomes all weird. For sure. But it was all true. the truth. Appreciate it, man. Where are, you f where are you from? Where'd you grow up? I'm from Millen, Georgia. Small town. Ah. South Georgia. Yeah. One, two red lights. Dirt roads. Really? Yeah. And how was it growing up? How was... It was tough, man, because it was a small town. You know, it was a lot of small minds, and uh, I always was able to look out of the glass. You know? I know. Even when you were little? Even when I was little. Uh, TV shows helped me look past where I was at. Yeah. So it's like being in that town was like being like Cinderella in the basement or something. Whoa. Yeah, it was crazy. And how was your uh, – you, I know you have four brothers. Um, I have one, two, three, four, like five brothers, I think. <laughs> about four, I got, I got four brothers, yeah, four brothers and about three or four sisters, something like that. Really? Yeah. Wow. I just have one brother, man. Oh. He's an older brother. Cool. Um, I was the pain in the ass. He was the straight laced. Yeah. And I became the actor and, you know, everybody looked at me like I was an alien. <laughs> um, and then... How about your parents? They're cool? Oh, yeah. My dad, he's still living. My mom transitioned when I was 11. And, you know, um, so, yeah, me and my dad, he good. He worked with me now. He was driving trucks. I told him just go and retire. Oh, really? So, just, just work with me, you know. So, he handled things with my kids. When I'm not when I'm not around, he'll go pick them up, take them to their games and stuff like that. Yeah. Wow. He, that's what he does now? That's yeah, what you that's what he does now. And what what about like when you were growing up? Was there any mental illness or anything? Because this is a mental. Yeah, I, I think every now I look back and um, know what mental illness is. I think everybody had it. Everybody had. I it. don't know nobody who don't have it. You know just, exactly. But we just didn't talk about we it. We just didn't talk about it. People got it's illness, man. It's, 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 it's because of what we take it in. A yes. lot of stuff we take it in. A lot of stuff we watch. A lot of stuff we eat. It's ill. There's no way we consuming this stuff and not becoming sick. Right. To some degree. And God has been a big part of your life. Oh, everything. Yeah, it, 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 God is the reason, you know, he, he's the reason for all my seasons because there's no way possible I could be in Hollywood. Uh, the With, way. Without that faith? Without that faith. There's no way. Uh, you know, I was brought up Catholic. Mm -hmm. And I tell the story where I had my first nervous breakdown, and I, what's the second? Yeah, the first nervous breakdown. I was in a mental institution, the whole thing, and I got through that breakdown. Then I had a, a breakdown a year later, and I had to go to a church. 
Mm-hmm. Because I needed to pray. Because I was losing it. I was mm-hmm. having a Mac episode. And I was dressed all, swe- whatever I was wearing, sweats and this and that. And I said to the, the, the priest came out and he said, can I help you? I said, can I, I just need to go in there and, and pray. I'm having a manic episode. And he said, I can't let you do that. Mm. And I said, wow. I mean, because of the way I'm dressed? He says, I just can't let you in. And then I, and then from, from then on, I became a, a Christian. Mm-hmm. But here's my thing, man. I don't know where you're at, but. I don't practice it, so I, it's hard for me to say I'm a Christian, mm-hmm. but I 100% believe in God. Mm-hmm. That we can't do what we do without help. Nah. That's I mean, I look at your, your, what you've done, it almost gets me emotional right now because I know God is right there for you. I feel like I'm a, I'm a, I'm a, you know, a preacher right now. But no, it, no, man, preach on, brother. But That's you get what I'm saying. I feel sure. it, man. I feel it. Because yeah. I've because i been, not stalking you, but <laughs> 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 but I've been watching your stuff, man, from the beginning. And I get chills right now. There's no way that there's not a higher power with you. Speak on that. Yeah. And, it's this, um, I knew... Sometimes you got to know the, to know the best can happen. You got to know the worst. Yeah. So where I was at in life, I was one hundred percent sure there's no way I could get to higher higher places. That's the truth. Yes. So it made me believe in God because that's the only thing. Right. Hard, hard work couldn't even get me out of where I was at. There's no. It could get me. I could have survived, made a good living. But yeah. in Hollywood from that small town. No, no. So I had to believe in the unbelievable. So this guy I heard about it in church. You know what I'm saying? I didn't. I don't know whether they call it Christian or what. I heard about this guy who was doing miracles. So you know how people, a child believe in the superhero, they yeah. believe in Superman, and they yeah. buy the action figures. I really believed in Jesus. And I believed Man. in that, and I didn't let nobody take my faith or waver it. I didn't care what nobody said, and I caught myself in life, no matter what situations were, I was able to float and walk on water. Because water is a substance you're supposed to sink in. That right. could be relationships. That could be pain. That could be heartache. I that love could that. be financial debt. But if you walk on it, that's water. You look yeah. walked on water, and I believed in it, man. And, and coming from where I come from, it was impossible. Now, were you getting in? What kind of trouble were you getting in? In what age? Like teenager? Uh, or? Oh, women. I oh, had one boy. problem. I had one problem. I, I, I it was women. It was the trouble of all. The number one trouble, and, <laughs> and I enjoyed getting in it. <laughs> It was always, it was always women. I only, you know, I really didn't have too many, um, you know, I, you know, I, I've hustled in the streets and all that, but I was pretty careful hu- hustler. Yeah. I moved different, but man, my problem was women, but I didn't see that. I didn't see it that much of a problem. Yeah. To me. Yeah. Cause I was just like, you know, my, everybody was doing a lot of things and I chose mine. I'm like, I'm just doing this. Well, if you think about it, if if you if if you if you say, well, you know, this person's doing heroin and this yeah. person's doing cocaine, I'm doing women. I'm doing women. That's not that bad. Yeah, I ain't, I'm not. <laughs> listen, I'm not going out to spend a bunch of money. I'm I'm making love because hey, I feel I used to see everybody like my dad. Them they used to just get high and all that, but they get high to go do that. They had they right. Drink, they drink to go make love. So I'm like, this guy's. <laughs> this is what I'm gonna do. <laughs> I'm doing. I'm doing this. And, and you got a lot of kids, right? You got got a lot of kids. Toll on me. So, but how are you with your kids, man? man it's great. I don't even see how I could have lived without them. Really? I don't see. Like, we in a house together, you know. They all got a room in my house, got 10 kids. And it's like, I don't even know how I could have lived without them now. Because I had them so young. Yeah. Some of them I had older. Uh, but the, it's like we're like a... See my son. You guys are just all there. We're all there, man. You know ten kids. Ten, ten. Four, four of them stay there permanently. Four and five of them, but the, um, three of them stay right around the corner. So it's only two of them that stay more than three hours away. And it's like I don't even know how I would be able to live now because they're your friends. Yes. 
they are they're you. So it's like they work with you. Like my sons, they help build the empire online. I put him in a lot of skits, and it's like we just there. That's amazing, man. Yeah. So what are they? What are they? they I mean, what are the kids? Look, I I always say that. What well, for me and uh, my wife is over there. So, <laughs> but no, I'm not saying anything bad, but. Um, T- kids, they show you your mistakes. For sure. Right? For so, sure. Um, I talk about, my mom doesn't want me talking about this, but, uh, you know, my dad, I was abused. Um, and he would just hit me with a belt. and But, but he, he did what his father did, and his father did what... And one thing I've been able to do, thank God is break that chain, mm-hmm. right? Mm-hmm. Uh, I don't think you should ever do anything to a kid when you have rage. Mm-hmm. For sure. Right? Because that, you know, I used to watch my dad, and he used to, I, I'd see him with this rage, and he and it, he couldn't stop, and that's not good. Mm-hmm. But one thing I've learned, or I haven't learned, I should, is that I'm not affectionate with my children. Mm-hmm. How about you? You're affectionate with I'm affectionate with some of, uh, uh, all of them. I'm, aff- I'm affectionate with all of them, but I have a different relationship with each one. Because when, the, when your child leaves yeah, your I house, know. when your child leaves your house, they enter the world. And sometimes you got to treat your children like the world going to treat them, but not with the full yes. discipline. Because yes. this, this not la-la land. No. Exactly. So they'll leave the house thinking, I got one son. He used to leave the house gullible because he thought life was all. His mom used to be there. Da, 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 da. Right, right, right. And my mom didn't do that to me. She made me. She seen me begging to play with a friend. You bet I never begged to play with nobody again. Yeah, 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 yeah. You bet not. She she stayed on me about things because it's the real world. Yes. You can't you can't have a you can't have a La La Land Sesame Street life when there's people outside your door right us. it's 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 people outside looking at little children and, and all these things so this the real world so you just got to instill to them who the, you know um the truth in life yes somebody got to be there to tell that child the truth and wayne there is a lack of discipline now oh yeah it's lack of discipline. okay i'm not saying you know you know that's a wrong thing to do my you know my dad it was overboard whatever but there's a lack of discipline yeah. with kids. You got, you got discipline. You got, you have to discipline. You have to figure out how, how? though, right? Yeah, you got to like out. my son. Okay, this is a story I t- I've said it before, but you're gonna, it's pretty cool. My son at about nine or ten was a, just a pain in the ass, man. I mean, this guy, I was like, I was just, he was just, he's just, <laughs> you know what I mean? It's like, Joshua, what are you doing? <laughs> Okay, and then one day he did something, and I took his phone, I threw it in the back seat. He ran up the stairs, and he get, locked the door in the bathroom. And I was like, damn, this kid is just going I'm, to, I'm, I'm, what am I going to do here? But I made the decision one day in the car, we were, I was yelling at him. And he's looking at me, and I yelled at him, and I said, I stopped yelling, and I looked at him, and I said, buddy, I don't know how else to do this. I don't know what else I can do. Mm -hmm. And he looked at me, and he said, just talk to me like that. Mm. And I said, all right, and since then, I've not used power with power. Yeah. Right? That's real. That's a that's a real statement because that's exactly how uh, my daughter just told somebody that recently. She was like, my dad just don't, he get on us, but he don't holler. Mm. I'm always like, hey, boy, go in there and clean that room. You already know. Yeah, I'll keep the kitchen clean. All right, you slipping on this. I always talk to them in that temperament. Yeah, that's, that's amazing. Because I'm in that real temperament in life. So, you know, sometimes people got to get themselves into that true moment. So everything you do, you'll right. do it with that flow. Exactly. Because if something is going on, whatever whatever you put out, whether it's, 
whatever that piece of, of the ingredient of how a person feeling is coming out. Right. So a person work on them and then work on you can't some people try to work on their child or work on a person. You gotta work on you all the way first. Yes. Love, love but, yourself. But, but when you're when you're born with and then uh develop that kind of rage like I had. Mm -hmm. It works in acting. Yes. Because I play Sonny. Mm -hmm. You believe I'll kick your ass. Yeah, yeah. You know? sure. And it's cool as hell, right? For sure. But in the in, in your own life, that rage is not healthy. For sure. For sure. Right. So oh my goodness, we're going pretty deep here. Um It's all good, man. I love it. Listen, so you're a vegan? Is yeah, that yeah I'm vegan. How's that, man? Hey, man, it's cool. You know, I feel like... Um, you don't miss eating ribs and, like, uh, steak and pizza and... I remember how it tastes, but now... I remember how it tastes now. I miss the season. You know, uh, some of the right, vegan right, food... Right, right, right. You know, they know, how, they know how to cook it, but, you know... It, it, I like the benefits of it, and I like the... Um, I truly believe that was part of my mental illness. Really? Because I used to, like... The way I used to like when I was young, I used to be like, I still, I, I still lust, man. And I really believe because I saw something one time. They say what you eat, it ain't about everybody trying to seem like it's bad for you, for meat and all that. It's not just about that. It's to it's say you get the characteristics of oh really the animal. And it was like you know they say you eat, uh, people you eat a lot of pork, people get greedy. You know, a chicken give you anxiety because chicken is always scared. So it's like I never. That's so, amazing. So people got anxiety and um and beef or cow stubborn, it gets stuck in their ways. If a, if a, if it's burning down, the pastor burning down, a cow sit there. So it was like the characteristic. What about a fish? You know, fish. Hey, fish, you just swim. You just. <laughs> <laughs> hey, that's a fish, a fish. You know, hey, you just in water. You know, that was one of the things I heard. You know, I'm not a scientist, but one thing I noticed for myself. A lot of lust I used to feel disappeared. Really? Like, I control when I could turn something on if I want to turn it on. But I know when I was young, I used to just to be like, I just want a woman so bad. Really? Man, after I got all that food, my energy. Yeah, how's that, the energy? It's better, but it's like I'm more cooler. Damn. Like I'm more laid back because, you know, a plant just... You know, because some, yeah. sometimes that food gives you too much energy. But as a vegan, you, you're not eating all those steroids and stuff. So I don't have the extra energy. So you you gonna choose what you give energy, because it's like you gotta. But you can eat pasta. Yeah, I eat pasta and all that. I love pasta. Yeah, I tell pasta. I eat pasta. I eat everything. I eat all the time. That's all I think about is eating. Really? Yeah. Food. So you eat? I, okay. So let's say I wanted to be a vegan. Uh huh. Uh, it's be tough. <laughs> But let's say I could eat, I love pasta, mm -hmm. with tomatoes and no no meat, obviously. Mm -hmm. And then rice, I love rice. Mm -hmm, for sure. What else? Beans? But, but all beans. Okay. All vegetables, all greens, cabbage. You can make cornbread without the milk and the eggs. Okay. So it's the same Pancakes? Thing. Pancakes without... Man, I like pancakes. Without milk and eggs. Pizza yeah. without the... Yep. They do it all. They do it all in LA, though. Like it's yeah, yeah. They do all that. Yeah. All right. Well, the, the, let me let me think about it, okay, Wayne. <laughs> <laughs> um, I want to talk about. Um, we we're gonna we're gonna have this end on a lot of talk about what you have done, man. That mm -hmm. would, which. First of all, I hear, I haven't seen, but I heard from a very cool person that your stand-up comedy is, what did she say, brilliant, out of this world. Tell me about the stand-up comedy, man. And you don't swear. No, nah, I say hell and damn. That's it. I mean, you know, Wayne, people don't understand that Cause I do a little thing, you know, it's a little stand-up comedy with my fans. If I go places, Irvine comedy, Irvine, whatever. Uh, and I gotta swear, man. Yeah. Cause if I don't feel like it, it's that funny without it. 
<laughs> like I gotta say, you know, that motherfucker, you know, yeah. and then it becomes a st- so people don't understand how difficult it is to do stand up without swearing. For sure. So how do you how did you get into it? How did you do it? Man, I just made that decision. My first manager, um, she she said you should do it without curse, um, cussing, you know. Her dad is a motivational speaker. His name Les Brown. And he wrote a lot of books. And it was just that other lane. So I, I just stopped. I'm going to listen. I said, okay, I stopped. Me not knowing, being a country boy sometimes, not knowing a lot, knowledge helps you grow. Not knowing knowledge yes. helps you grow. Yes. Because when you don't know, you'll figure out another way. Yeah. If yeah. I would have knew... If I would have paid attention to everybody curse, I thought, well, she telling me not to curse. It's comedians who don't curse a lot, which which there are, but it's not it's not as many. But man, I took that lane and I just you have to fill in more words. It made it harder for me, but it, it separated me because everybody can't do it. It's not like easy. When I learned how to I'm in the country town, so when I seen TV shows, I didn't know they edit. So I'm thinking they shooting straight through. So when I started doing my skits, I'm shooting straight through because I'm ignorant. Ignorant mean I just didn't know. I was yeah, knowing yeah. what was really going on. And I learned how to shoot straight through a scene. Yeah, yeah. And keep the tempo up because I taught myself I didn't have the knowledge of how film worked. Yes. So me not knowing, I just did no cursing. And I figured out a way to get those same reactions that curse words get. And it made me more expressive. Like instead of cursing. And what's, what, what could be a substitution for a, a, a swear word? Expression? Word. Yeah. Like if a person say, uh, that MF, I'm like... Just, what? Hey. It's like Wow, it's like, really? Yeah, it's like a man, if you don't sit boy, if you don't sit down so if I tell you what, you ain't nothing but a piece of nothing. That means you just a piece of SHIT. You know what I'm saying? So So just, the inflection is so You know what it means. Cause it's gonna force you to it's like a person who can't talk. Damn. Or can't speak. They're gonna be like, hey, 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 yeah, yeah. Try to get you to get it. So it's like it made me more expressive. Like, they say that dog smell like S-H-I-T. I'm like, hey, why that dog? Hey, dog smell like, hey, God won't let him have and The devil won't even oh, let him have. so hit. you don't even have to go to even go to yeah. any word that's. No, it just give you, it make you, it fill in the time. It's like, it's like when you're editing, you know, they put a lot of sounds and stuff. Yeah, yeah. It's to keep the attention. So it, you have to kind of like become everything. That's you got to cool. feel all the moments to, to 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 miss that curse word. Now, do you think eventually you would do a concert swearing? I probably I thought about it, man. When I get older, I'm gonna be like, man, this is the, the the raw Wayne. I'm gonna do a raw. Wayne. That's what I'm, I'm saying. Come back and I'm gonna say, it, you motherfuckers, and right? Gonna be like, oh, I never heard him say a curse word before. You know, I thought about it, man. You know what I'm saying? Because it's going to be <laughs> to build my career so much on that and give them that one. It have to be towards like the end. When yeah, I'm, I get it. It have to be. I have to retire and then do one. I have to retire and then come back with a raw. You know what I'm saying? But I built. I built it so much like this, and I learned that cursing cringes people subconsciously without them knowing it. Yeah, I went yeah. back and looked at some comedians who I love, and the cursing was making them do this a little bit. Without them knowing it. I get it. You know, my favorite comedian of all time is pretty much everybody's, but Richard Pryor. Yeah, Richard Pryor. Yeah, Richard Pryor. I mean, I mean, I would, you know, there's some comedians that you laugh at. I would listen to him. I had a friend listen for the first time. He's from Pakistan. He didn't, doesn't know anything about it. comedy or Richard Pryor. Not that anybody in Pakistan doesn't know that, but... We listen, and I, I'm on the on my knees f- laughing. That's mm. how you, he brings you to your knees. That's how funny he was. Yeah, I mean, I would say Eddie Murphy would be second, and now you may be third. We'll see. Rich, Rich Pryor, that guy, right? And I had to go back and watch and see why he was that guy. I was like, why did everybody say Rich Pryor? So I went back and watched, and I know why. Right? Because everything he said was funny. Some of his stuff was funnier than others, so that means he was like... But what made him the best? Because he spoke his truth yes. more than anybody. Yes. Anybody who speaks their truth is going to... The material is going to flow out differently. But don't you think his truth was deeper than most comedians also? For sure. 
the bigger the sacrifice, the right, the better the story. Yeah. If I wouldn't have had all these kids, what would celebrate me? What, I, what would I talk about right now? I have to make up jokes. I got a bunch of kids, but baby mamas. Right. I'm from a small town. All those truths of me being honest about where I'm from and who I am, it's gonna be hard to mess with me because I'm not. I don't care. Yeah, I yeah. don't care what people say, man. And I think so. Rich- basically, when you're on the stage, because that's you know all we at least that's all I got as an actor is you're just telling your story, yeah, as honest as you can, as honest as I can. But how relaxed are you, man? I wake, I go, to, I take naps behind stage. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? I go on stage, like I go on stage right now, like it's it's. But man, it don't feel like nothing because it's like I know everybody. Coming from a small town, one thing about the country, everybody came from originated some kind of way. I don't care if you stay in LA, you kind of know everybody. Yeah. Like I've already met yeah. Maurice. I met yeah. everybody. Yeah. In a different person. Yeah. So it's like you you relax, you more relaxed around people when you from the country and explored. I was an explorer. So I'm like, man, I'm I know, man, I know I'm here. Like, I know I'm a hit them. I, I've made white people laugh like black people. And I haven't seen nobody really do that. I, when I watch these comedy shows, even comedians now, I'm like, man, they cool, but they're not. They ain't hitting that coochie right. You know what I mean? I'm like, <laughs> I've seen white people laugh like black people wow. at my shows because it's like that. <laughs> yeah. Because somebody's being truthful. Yeah. And, but, it's, and the truth is set you free. But have you always been this relaxed? Oh, yeah. See, I, I was relaxed. I was, in the beginning, I was relaxed with no material. But in the beginning, like when you were a teenager, when you were, you know, yeah. were you always relaxed? In the, I was always relaxed. Well, you're lucky because like with me, mm-hmm. I've always been uh, yeah. not relaxed. I can, I can, acting I could do, not relaxed, but it was difficult. Only in the last, I got to be honest with you, I told somebody else this, only in the last couple of years have I just been Free, man. Yeah. Uh, it's so free when you're relaxed, when you don't, you, so you've always had it, so you don't know. But when you haven't had it and then you have it, it's like magic. Mm-hmm. Like you feel like, la, everything, you talk to people and this and that. It is amazing. How about this? But you probably, I'm sure you're, you're going to say yes. You don't care what people think. Uh-uh. Not God, at all. Damn it. I don't care at all. Always? Always. That I, I never care. I don't. I just don't care. Damn. I don't even like to talk to people wow. about judging and all that. Because I can't judge a person. I'm not in their shoes. Yeah. And nobody can't judge me. You can never judge nobody if you're not in their brain. Right. I've right. learned that. And it's like, man, what you talking to me for? Like, if, you, if you're not coming from, because everybody think they got the answer. I'm like, well, go fix your life all the way first. Go fit. If everybody had the answer, yeah. you start touching people close to you. Yeah. And people's lives will start changing around you. Yes. So it'd be like, I never cared, man. That's amazing. Because I, yo. That has been my problem mm-hmm. with mental illness. I remember you told me that at first. And right. I was just about to say that. I yeah. was like, when I was listening to you just then, I was like, probably now about don't care what people just. Now I don't, but I'm like at about 85%. Yeah. I will get to 100 but it's a, it, it, I think all, a lot of that has to do with ego. Mm-hmm. And I've always had to chop away at my ego. Because, mm-hmm. ego, you know, my, my agent once said, he said, why do you, you, don't, you don't have an ego. I said, I want to be king, but I don't want anybody else to be king. Mm-hmm. That's not healthy. And he mm-hmm. said, oh, I get it. Um, but now... I'm so happy for everybody, mm-hmm. but you got to be happy in here in yourself first. Mm-hmm. But you've always seemed to have that, mm-hmm. which is a beautiful thing. Thank yeah, God you, you got to say it. Sometimes, like, like it's like you, you know, for you to be around that long, uh, you probably been wanting to say this that nobody can't mess with me. And sometimes holding that in, <laughs> yeah, yeah. See, yeah. I tell a person, somebody asks me something, that's, I'm like, no, nah, you can't mess with me. I'm like, I'm the, I'm the best at this. Yeah. Like, and and it hit because that's my truth and that's how I feel. So it's like. Because sometimes holding it in, you're going to show it through expression. So just saying it going to keep you relaxed. And it's like, 
I told a guy today, man, he he cool, he cool with 50 Cent. And he keep calling me about what 50 Cent, man, we're gonna meet up. I'm like, bro, 50 Cent can't do nothing. I'm I'm that too. I'm yeah, just younger. Right. I'm a Jay-Z. I'm 50 Cent. Right, I'm, right. I'm just 34. Bro, I'm I'm yeah. a millionaire. I haven't touched the industry yet. I yes. haven't had my moment in the industry. And still, you know, so I'm like, bro, I had to tell him, bro, I'm that dude. And I always been like that. I, Ever since a child, I would tell a person that thing that's Dang. in me. I'm gonna speak it and let them know, bro. I tell a woman quick, like if you if you don't deal with me, you ain't never had a me. So don't right, because that's you believing in your own yeah. individual self. Because when God created a person, when you be who He created you to be, you the best in the world. Right, right. Because most people are never going to reach that level of their best person. Yes, because so, they're trying to be somebody else. Like when you be you, like my name is Country Wayne. And they told me that I'm going to have to change my name. Yeah. And in Hollywood, now the biggest producers in the world, like country, man, they wouldn't, country means slow to people. But I believe in it so strong. Yes. I love that. Yeah, you got to believe in your own craziness. I'm Maurice Bernard, motherfucker. Yeah. 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 Yeah, because you, you, that, that's proof. It's numbers, but that, yeah. that, that like, to be on a show that long, you don't got to be <laughs> humbleness. People, <laughs> uh, confused humbleness and quietness. I get you. Yeah. I get you. Um, only a couple things more, man. I don't want to keep you. Oh, we cool, man. We chill. Uh, it feels so good in here. It does, doesn't it? <laughs> it feels so relaxed. I'm just like, man. So I just want to say, well, maybe I'll say that at the. Maybe I'll say this to you. One more question, and, and then I'm gonna kiss your ass again when I end <laughs> this thing. How many times have you sat in your in a room by yourself and tears of joy come? Mm. Maybe. Because God has given you so much in this platform. I mean, I know it's happened many times. Mm -hmm. How's that feel, man? Feels yeah. amazing. Right? Yeah, it's like a it's like a cry that never comes. Yeah, cause like I'm not a crier, but man, it be like, I be it be, I just be rejoicing. Like I, I go to my, I remember I went to my closet last week, and I was just and I was like, the last few days I've been doing that because it's like um, I had to cancel my tour, and you know that's missing like between two and three million dollars to go pick up thirty thousand. I gotta go to New Zealand for two months, but I'm working with the biggest producer in the world right now, director. So I had to cancel a whole oh. tour, and I was able to do it. To be able to take care of my family while I'm gone. I got enough money in reserve. And I was just like, God, man, you your timing. It's like I always, I be feeling it all the time. I have moments of me getting awards at the Oscars. And I'm crying to my kids. I be yeah. in the bathroom. I can already feel the moment. Before I step, if I don't feel that moment, I don't go towards that journey. Yes. yes. And I feel, I all the time, man, because I be like, he brought me so far. If God stopped right here, this, somebody told me, Wayne, you know they might start telling you stop saying Jesus. I said, well, I'm not going. And I say, well, what if you don't go no further with the answer? I said, well, God keep me right here. That's right. That's I right. don't went far enough. That's you know, right. But I, I'm thankful, man, because to, to be free and to be to go against all odds, I do everything wrong. I give away my money. They say you don't supposed to do that. I went broke giving away money. God, when he gave it back in a surplus. I do everything that the world tell you not to do. And I'm free, man. That's right. And I be like, there's nothing but, there's nothing in this world that can set you free. Everything in this world keep you in bondage. Everything in this world, is, they give you credit. Yes. You get more in debt. Credit is not for you to make money. It's to get more in debt. Because if I lived in a little house with no debt, and I'm only making $500 a week, and I have no debt, and I'm, that house is paid for, I'm happy. I'm just as happy as a person who got $100 million and they $110 million in debt. Trust me. Right, the right. happiness is the same. Now, they might be able to experience um, the yachts more yeah, and, yeah. and they go out there and take the pictures and show that they're on vacation more, but, man, happiness isn't here. Yes, yes, you know, so, absolutely. So I'm thankful, man, because I feel like a kid. Bro. I, I'm... I'm joyful, man. It's a beautiful thing. Yeah. And that's kind of the way I feel lately also in the last uh, couple of years. What 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 do you got going now? Anything going on? I know you got a book and this and that and that. I got a book coming out, man. I just um I got a couple of movies that I'm in. I just got picked up for this um this TV show. I gotta go to New Zealand for two months. 
Um, I got um, a sitcom, working on a sitcom and working on a stand-up special. Jesus and, Christ, man. And just everything, man. Yep. Let me say something about <sighs> Country Wayne in this interview. I felt it was going to go good, but I didn't feel it was going to be like this, which was funny, deep, insightful. This is a guy who, <laughs> you'll see what happened. I, I knew the first time I met him, I, I thought, you know, this, in a year this guy's going to blow up. And he's been blowing up, but he, he's going to blow up like blow up people so um but to, to, you know he's just a cool dude which is what i love and we're able to just sit here and have this cool conversation about a lot of different things he's an open book i'm an open book um uh, that's it i'm just it's been an honor brother it's been, it's been an honor to be here man thank you i, I really appreciate it Everything to touch your hand, the, the, <laughs> the God of soul poppers, man. You know what I'm saying? Um, hey, it's just, it, it, hey, man, I'm a, I'm a fan, brother. Thanks, brother. And for you to be able to take that journey all those years and stay the rising, man, you know, you, you, you live your truth. Yes. And, and that's the hardest thing to do. And, um, and, and, but you need people like you in this world Thank because you, you, you're the real hero. Thank you. Because people don't live their truth, man. People talk. No. That's why people point the finger at people who live in their truth because they're like, stop living your truth yeah. before I have to show mine. <laughs> <laughs> it's very true. I you, know, a lot. you know, yeah. you know, pe people don't live their truth. But that's how you grow. You live that's your truth because one thing about you, people going to point out all your bad. Yes. When you live your truth, but you're going to be able to work on yours. And they got to keep theirs bundle up. Yeah, that's right. That's right. And get ate up inside. Yeah. And they don't even know. Yeah, they don't they just, know. Keep living. That's that why they get on other people. Yeah. Like my family used to get on me all the time about the women and all that because they was like, I was living my truth. They kept because you keep your truth in too long and don't explore it, it turns into something else. Then it get crazy. Yeah, yeah. Then you doing all yeah. Yeah, right. Mm -hmm. All right, brother. Thank you. I appreciate you, appreciate man. It. It's good. Thanks. Go, go check out the uh, country Wayne everywhere. Yes, he will be everywhere in this comfortable, comfortable um, chair you got, man. It's a comfortable chair with a couple. This is amazing. <laughs>